Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to 30 Days of Pride, my series where we talk about major trailblazers and events that happened in the queer community that has helped us to where we are today to celebrate our own personal pride. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important trans activists who ever lived. We're talking about Miss Major Griffin Gracie. Miss Major Griffin Gracie has dedicated 50 years of her life organizing trans women of color specifically. She's a veteran of the Stonewall Riots, a survivor of Attica Correctional Facility, and she's the founding executive director of the Transgender Gender Variant Intersex Justice Project, which is a nonprofit that centers around supporting trans and gender nonconforming and intersex people out of prisons and jails and detention centers. Now, Miss Major retired in 2015, but her fight hasn't stopped. She's currently building the House of Gigi, which is a safe haven for trans and gender non-conforming, gender non-binary people to go and retreat and catch up and learn and how they can step up and help their communities. And I just want to read you a bit of an article about Miss Major Griffin Gracie that I really think encapsulate her views on life and the transgender community. Griffin Gracie views the state of being transgender or genderqueer as one of living outside the law. Due to constant rejection from mainstream audiences, particularly in pursuing job or education opportunities, she also argues that while many people with transgender and queer identities are not imprisoned, their identities and means of expression are policed through social behavior and state policies. Griffin Gracie has discussed the need for activism for transgender persons based on, in part on stories of discrimination from others. In the 1970s, a friend named Puppy, a Puerto Rican trans woman and sex worker, was found dead in her own apartment. Griffin Gracie held that there was evidence of a murder, but authorities ruled her death suicide. Major Griffin Gracie has been standing up for trans rights since the 1960s and she's fighting today still. I don't know how many times I can go on about how trans women of color, especially black trans women, have started the modern movement and the way that we treat our trans brothers and sisters and those who don't identify as either and those who identify as both are screaming at us to wake up and realize how important they are to the community and what they've done for us. And I think we really need to start waking up and dealing with our internalized transphobia uh, to these people and go out and elevate and support the voices of the trans people and be the allies that we need to be in the community. It's not just straight people that are hurting and throwing slurs at our community, it's us and it needs to stop. Thank you for joining me on another short video today. Join me tomorrow when we talk about another of our trailblazers. As usual, all my social media links are down below. Click subscribe so you can see the next video and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!